after you fix that. Hey, how did you do that? That was a hard one because uh, this ball is a little bit magic. It's got a bit of string glued to the left side of it to make the ball curve to the left. Why is that? And that's because the air that's flowing from the front of the ball around to the back encounters this seam, becomes turbulent, and turbulent air is known to stick to the ball longer than smooth or laminar flow. And so the air is deflected this way to the right on the ball, and therefore there's a force on the ball to the left, and so it curves. So and this, this is quite a light ball, so it curves a long way. Uh -huh. <coughs> But uh, on a cricket ball, the seam isn't on one side, its seam is down the middle. Correct. It's spinning in such a way that the seam's inclined at an angle to the direction of motion of the ball. I see. In which case, air coming towards the ball will flow smoothly around the smooth side and separates from the ball. Air flowing on the rough side, the seam side, becomes turbulent as soon as it encounters that seam gets deflected to the left, mm -hmm. and therefore the ball gets deflected to the right. So you basically make a rough side using that seam by angling the seam? With a cricket ball. With a cricket ball. Or you can have a rough and a smooth side because as time goes on during the game, one side gets rougher than the other. The players maintain the smooth side by polishing it, uh -huh. or wherever, <laughs> as, if, as if they're scratching themselves. Right. Uh, and then you don't really need the seam for, to have that effect because the effect is just a rough side and a smooth side. So a ball will always swing towards the rough side then? It does. But how does someone uh, swing a baseball then? Uh, that relies on the Magnus effect normally. So if the, if the spin is about a vertical axis, it'll either curve to the left or curve to the right. That's a curved ball. Uh, exactly. However, uh, there's a pitch ball known as a scuff ball that people don't like to know about because it's illegal. Uh -huh. And if you roughen up one side of the ball, surreptitiously without anybody noticing it, <laughs> <laughs> and then toss it, uh, it will curve a long way, just like the cricket ball. It'll curve towards the rough side. Correct. However, there's an effect discovered just this year, which is fairly obvious when you think about it. You can have a smooth patch on a baseball. But, I mean, the seam seems to be symmetric everywhere, so how can you really have a, a smooth patch? Well, what you do there is to make sure the axis passes through a spot which is a large distance from the seam. In other words, right about there, it's about one inch away from the seam, and if it rotates about that axis, then you've got a big spot that's always smooth on that side. You've got a smooth spot as opposed to a rough spot. And so it swings away from the smooth spot. It does, and I can show you that in slow motion. Ah, so you've tried this out with one of your polystyrene balls. I have, so that you can see the effect more dramatically, but it's also on film from a real baseball match. Oh, they, really? uh, in, in April this year, it was filmed and noticed for the first time that it's curving the wrong way. So who was it who explained this effect? Me. <laughs> <laughs> you were the first person to explain uh, how you can cause a, a baseball to swing in the opposite direction. I took an Aussie to show, uh, show the Americans show how, how, it's how, done. how it's done, exactly. Uh -huh. Well, why don't, we, uh, why don't we play a bit of ball with, but with that thing? I don't think you can swing that as much. I can't. Yeah? <laughs> so let's give it a shot. Okay. <laughs>